Welcome back to Morning Line, where we continue to try to cover every aspect of the coronavirus and how it affects our lives, including taxes. Dr. Friday, our tax expert with us this morning, streaming live right now on Facebook at NewsChannel5.com and NewsChannel5 Plus if you want to message us. Also, call 737-7587. Doc, question here. My husband and I both get a child, uh, both, both expect to get a check. Um, do we get a child credit on the status, on the stimulus package, each of us, or just combined as a family, one for one child? Right. So um, if I understood what you said, it, it is going to be one check based on the household. I okay. don't think they're going to be That's sending three checks out. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't clear on the way I described it, but I think you're correct on that. Let's take uh, some more calls. We've got a person, a caller on line two. Caller, are you there? Caller? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Okay, my question is, um, I have a 15-year-old. And I understand the child support aspect of it with the arrearage. But I have my son, and, and I have full custody of him now. Would I get a check with me paying the child support that I owed in the arrearage, and it's all kept up, but he lives with me now? Great question outside of my expertise, to be honest. But my understanding is if there is a court situation where it's in the rears, that's been reported to the IRS. and. Do they, I'm assuming they keep your refunds if they have any. Um, that is the way it's supposed to work, at least. And I'm, my assumption will be they'll keep this as well. Okay, so yeah, the thinking here is he may have custody of the child now, but that doesn't forgive the money he still owes. Now, if he's paid it all back and he's up current now, then... Well, that's different. Yeah, yeah that's we're different. We're talking about people in the rear. Yeah, but if you still owe something, even if he's living with you, you will not get a check. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go next to uh, Sheila. Hi, Sheila. What's your question? Hi. Hey, what's on your hey. mind? <clears throat> so I have two questions, I believe. Um, okay. The first one is we haven't received our refund. They said that they were holding it and that we would receive some sort of letter. We haven't received any sort of letter, and it's been like 40 days. Um, second question, well, part of that question is would we still be receiving said stimulus check? Um, even though we haven't received anything else from the IRS. Mm -hmm. Second question is, what if the children are not legally head of household um, due to a whole another situation that doesn't actually matter? Legally, they aren't on paper his, oh. but oh. he claims them. Okay. Yeah. So okay. one of the reasons they, a couple of different questions there, and one we probably won't want to deal with on the yeah. radio, on the TV. Um, but the bottom line is, if he filed a tax return claiming head of household, then maybe they're questioning that the possibility that someone else claimed the children at the same time, so they put a hold on your current refund. They doesn't mean that they may not issue a twelve hundred dollar refund for him as an individual without the children um but if if there's an issue with his filing it may hold up all of it because they won't know how much to give him maybe he is the legitimate head of household individual maybe he's not but until that's resolved it may be that the stimulus will be held off as well that's my best guess gotcha all right and i know some of these are outside the realm for you of taxes but i appreciate it because i know you follow this real closely i mean there's an interesting question here this woman says her father passed away can she keep his stimulus check now i know that has nothing to do with taxes now if he's already received the money and has passed okay, away so, which of yeah, course he hasn't received we, it yet we have had i mean if he was alive on february i believe it's like february 28th or or prior, you know, and passed away after that date when this all came into play, theoretically the estate would be entitled to his stimulus. In answer to your question, wow. it would okay. make a difference on when he passed away during the first part of this year. Very interesting. Okay, hopefully that helps on that one. Let's go uh, next to, uh, I believe, Michael. Hi, Michael. What's your question, Mike? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, my question is, is that if you draw Social Security, and, uh, and for the past uh, year, you had to stay with somebody and they claimed you on their taxes. Would they get the stimulus check or would, would I still be qualified for a stimulus check? Hmm. Again, uh, to the best of my knowledge, if you are dependent of somebody else and you're over the age of 16, you are not going to qualify for a stimulus check. Right. They're getting the benefit of claiming you, therefore the stimulus check is not going to be issued to that person. 
Yeah, it all comes down to whether your claim is a dependent. A lot of yes. people right now are gnashing their teeth going, why did I do that? But the money is sometimes saved. <laughs> exactly. But I think a lot of people in that situation, and if you're claimed, then you don't get a check. And, and I understand no. why it is. You may not think it's fair, but that makes sense. It makes sense. You could sense. be amending the tax returns. It's not something you can't fix in some yeah. cases. Right. And maybe that you need to look at 2019 and amend it because what you've been doing, and it's not saying that it wasn't a legitimate deduction because someone living on Social Security alone is a dependent of the person living or able to be claimed as a dependent. It's not that you're doing anything wrong, but this may be the year you amend that. All right, let's take another phone call. We've got uh, Mr. Johnson. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. Yes. I'm Go here. ahead. Go ahead, sir. Okay. If if I file 2018, will I get this stimulus check? If yes, if you file 18, um, it is it would be there. They'll reconcile it with your 19. Um, so 18 or 19 has to be filed to be able to qualify. Is my understanding. Uh, Michelle's asking: Do children that draw SSI receive anything? If they're under the age of 16, mm -hmm. my understanding will be that they will qualify for the $500. Yeah, the $500 that, that you know, whether they get it or they're, they're you know, uh, But most of the time, a child that's on Social Security only is still being claimed as a dependent under the age of 16 on the parent's tax return anyways. Right, that's correct. Okay. All right, let's go next to uh, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. What's your question, Phyllis? Yes, um, my husband is on Social Security. Mm -hmm. I have been laid off from my job um, because of all this. Would mm -hmm. my question is, my husband is on disability, okay. the SSI. Yep. What's your question? And you've been just yeah, and, okay. and you're not Go working. Ahead. Yeah, not working. Do they get a check? Oh, okay. So she, he'll get his $1,200, assuming even that she's not working. Right. Uh, she may have worked for part of the year. She filed 18 most likely, so she should still qualify, assuming that nothing's changed drastically. Okay. Um, some people wondering with regard to these stimulus checks and how it all works out. Uh, if you're in the military, there's no reason you would be excluded, is there? None that I know yeah, of. None, no. Yeah. Question there. So no reason that that those people especially should be included. Let's go <laughs> to uh, Mr. Peebles. Hi, Mr. Peebles. Hey, like uh, kind of had a maybe a unique situation in my okay. case. Okay. Um, have been filed for 2019. Um, I have since been divorced. I was married in 2018, so I have a totally different address, different bank account. Well, then what's going to happen with uh, my check, where it's going to go, or how I can get it to me? Okay. <laughs> Good question. All right. So, again, just like uh, we were talking a little bit earlier, I think you need to go on to irs.gov, sign up there, or download the form 8822, and at least correct your address so you at least have a good address with the IRS. Um, you could probably get done faster on irs.gov than mailing a return, but either way, that would be the first thing I would do. Again, if for some reason just nothing happens, when you file your 2020 return in 2021, that stimulus will still be able to be applied and refunded. All right, let's go next to Linda. Hi, Linda, what's your question? Are oh, you there? I think, I think they may have already answered it. I think okay. you have to have filed 2018 and 2019, but I also have another question. Sure. If, you're, if you didn't have income in 2018 and you didn't file, and you are filing in 2019, would you get it? And then also, is there an income um, limit if you make more than a certain amount? And, and if what, maybe one spouse makes more than a certain amount, and then maybe the other spouse makes under that certain amount, would, would they both get it or would one of them get it? Okay, because, yeah, it's a household, and this gets out of the realm. But we know there are caps. If you're making roughly over $200,000 a year as a family, you're not getting a stimulus check, and you shouldn't. So go no. on. Yeah. Yeah, so the caps are 75 and 150, basically everything above that year will start losing the stimulus for single and married. Um, if you were not required to file in 2018 and you did not have any earnings, well, then you would not be in the system. So then you could file for 2019. Um, but if you're married and your husband filed you as his spouse, then you would be on the return anyway. So I'm not sure if I got all those answers, but um, yes, this is designed for people that are making less than 75 as a single person 150 right. as a married basically okay gotcha let's go next to uh nikki hi nikki nikki what's your question Hello. go ahead nikki 
Uh, yes, I was wondering if you got your taxes on the H&R Block Emerald card, if that's the way you would receive the stimulus as well. That is a great question. I have been asked that a couple times. My answer is going to be, and my understanding is those cards are, ref are, are refillable. So if that's the account number the IRS has on count, my understanding is H&R Block collects the money and they put it on the Emerald card. I'm not an expert, but if that is the case, then your money's gonna be mailed to you because it's not a legitimate account. They're not going to send the money to H&R to put it on the Emerald card. If it's a direct deposit from IRS onto that card, then I would say it'd be just like Social Security where they'll well be able to be refunded back onto the card. Um, I'm just not sure the process that H&R Block uses to put the funds on the Emerald card, sorry. Okay, and uh, just with regard to folks that uh, aren't getting a check because they own back child support, is the way you understand it that that check, instead of going to them, will go toward paying their child support? Absolutely, it's free yeah. money on child support. Yeah, I mean, so in it goes all to honesty, help them. I yeah. mean, it's going to help you by not having to pay $1,200 on back child support. So it's free money. All right, let's uh, remind folks again just uh, when it's supposed to start being rolled out. And if, if someone's not seeing, you know, the check as soon as they would like, are there certain things you would recommend that they check to make sure maybe the government doesn't have all the information they need? What would be the, the main hurdles that could possibly block you getting a check in a timely fashion? Right. So the, the biggest thing is, first, they're supposed to be rolling out as early as this coming Friday. Second, I would go on to IRS.gov and make sure that your information is correct, mainly the address. Um, hopefully, they'll actually have it where you can put your banking information in there. Don't know if that's going to come out or not. Just thinking about a lot of problems that could happen if the IRS doesn't do that right. Um, second thing would be filing at least 18 or 19 tax returns. If there's a holdup on those returns because of an issue, an audit or whatever else, then most likely you will have a holdup on the stimulus at the same time. Um, and one of the biggest questions coming in my office is my husband and I flip flop the children. I claim them even years, he claims them odd years. Does he get them because it was on 2019? My understanding, whoever filed them on the 2019 tax return will be the one that's going to get the stimulus for those children. Do you think they'll play nice and split that check then? No. <laughs> I think so. Probably not. But the, the point that is, that's really good. I'm glad you said that. So for folks who know that they qualify and should expect a check, which is just about everyone, those are the things to look at. And I've been on IRS.gov. It's a fascinating resource. It really is. Yeah. Go on there if you have access to a computer, you know, and, and you can check all the information. You can open up an account for yourself there. And mm -hmm. as she said, make sure that that address is current for yourself. And then maybe, you, you know that at this point they don't have it up yet for banking information because some people's bank changed. And again, if your bank's changed and they have your mailing issue, then they'll send you the check in the mail, correct? Right. Yeah, and I mean, that's what happens. Or your bank account information was wrong on your 2018 or it was a fraudulent account. The bank will bounce it and then it will go back in and then they'll send you a check just as if it was a regular uh, refund from your tax returns. Happens all the time. Gotcha. And again, um, you know, people will continue filing their taxes between now and July 15th. Yes. Gotcha. Doc Friday, you're terrific. Thank you for coming on. And uh, Mary Elena is going to get on the phone with you when we're done here and see if we can get you on again soon. All right. No problem. Thank you, guys. Appreciate All right. Thank it. you so much. I'll be back to wrap things up right after this.